How many times a week do you or should you bathe your kids? That is the question we are here to answer. Well, let's ask here real quick. Kristen, how often do you bathe Jimmy and Cassie, your kids as well? So I also think it determines on season and in the summertime, uh, Jimmy goes to camp and unfortunately, like his mother, he sweats like a little demon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This kid, <laughs> he's got like so much dirt and mulch and like his little neck rolls and stuff <laughs> like that. So if he's had a big day out, a big day outdoors, he gets a he gets a bath or he, he hops in the shower with me. So I'd say... Um, Almost every day, mm -hmm. but if we if he's been inside, like if it's a rainy day and he's been inside inside all day, then we'll go every other day. Same, pretty much. If they're if they're dirty, they played outside, or if Hazel went to school that day, then definitely getting at least a body bath that night, if not hair. And then if we're like just inside chilling, then I might do like skip two days because mm -hmm. I'm like you're just a child and your skin's super sensitive. If you don't need a bath, you don't need a bath. Okay, well, let's see what y'all think about this medical provider who went viral on the Him and Her podcast when she admitted that this is how often she bathes her child. Talk to us about how you only bathe your kids once a week. I want to know more about that. Well, first off, I just let my kids do what they want to do. I have four children. I'm not going to fight with my kids over little stupid things like bathing. Agreed. Like, what's Agreed. the age gap again? <laughs> almost 10, 7, 5, and 2. Woo, oh. You're in it. Yeah. So, so like, so you don't make them bathe every day. You'll just do when they want to once a week. If it's once a week, you know, like now they sw so they swim. We have a pool and they swim in the summer. So I guess we call that bathing. So no. it's probably even less than that, you know, but no, we tell it like our kids have autonomy over their bodies and their rooms, assuming, you know, and they can make all the choices around that, assuming they're safe. So. What? She's a medical provider. Does she's a mean, medical she, provider. She was wearing scrubs she, in yep. the interview. Uh -huh. right, well, if she's a doctor, she just lost me as a patient. She needs, <laughs> she needs to scrub her kids. <laughs> <laughs> I know there are some dermatologists and pediatricians yeah. who say for like young kids, like newborns, yeah. once a week is fine. Absolutely. And I kind of ascribe to that because I'm like, well, you're a newborn unless you like throw up on yourself and you're not doing anything. And it's because their skin is so, so sensitive. But 10 years old, yeah. my issue with that is you're about to be, get into that teenage realm when you're going to start needing to bathe and use deodorant to not be a social pariah, and that's going to be a big switch flip. <clears throat> yeah, I don't like her. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. Um, but I even thought as uh, an infant they needed to be bathed once a day because they're pooping on themselves, no. peeing on themselves, spitting and vomiting all over themselves and stuff. Well, you, if you, you have a massive, yeah, if you have like a, a massive spit up or blowout, even a blowout because you're, con you're wiping and cleaning their bums all day, right? Oh. All day you're doing that. You're wiping with the wet wipes and you're cleaning. So for infants, because their sensitive is so skin, it is medically recommended that you do not bathe them every day. You don't even bathe them every other day. Well, it's a good thing that my kids are older now because they passed that test way back in the day and they were bathed every uh, every day. Uh, the second thing is, I love when she says, I don't want to like have fights with them over stupid little things like bathing. Or cleaning their room which i think is more than cleaning your room i think it's a discipline issue yeah. also when they move on um i i do feel like hygiene is is up there when it comes to priorities and that that that's not a that's not a little thing and chlorine like bathing your kids in the pool i can totally get i used to be like of the mentality like you took a dip you're fine and now as an anxiety ridden mother all i see is <laughs> am i gonna let chlorine sit on your skin for 24 48 hours along with suntan i think not you were getting a bath after you go in that pool. This is where it all starts where, with white people not using washcloths. I didn't want to ask, but <laughs> this might be it. My two biggest problems was one, when someone said, if you listen closely, once a week, she says, if that. If so, that, yeah. yeah, she goes beyond that. And then, yes, getting in a pool is not a shower, okay? <laughs> there's no soap. There's no rags in there. That is not cleaning yourself. Also, gross for everybody else, honestly. Like, you're supposed to shower before mm -hmm. you get into the pool for a reason because nobody else wants to swim through your nasty body oils. <laughs> the Burt Show.